According to George Vorsky, the discovery of 2.4 million year old stone tools and butchered bones at a site in Algeria suggests our distant hominin relatives spread into the northern regions of Africa. Far earlier than archaeologists assumed, the find adds credence to the newly emerging suggestion that ancient hominins lived and evolved outside a supposed Garden of Eden in East Africa. This extraordinary discovery can be traced back to 2006, when Mohamed Sanoni, the lead author of the new study and an archaeologist at Spain's National Research Center for Human Evolution, found some intriguing artifacts at a site called Ain Boucherid in northeastern Algeria near the city of El Yulma. These items were embedded in a sedimentary layer exposed by a deep ravine. Two years later, Sanoni found another layer of the site, one even older. From 2009 until 2016, his team meticulously worked at Ain Boucherin, uncovering a trove of stone tools and butchered animal remains. Using multiple dating techniques, Sanoni and his colleagues dated the two stratigraphic layers, dubbed ABF and ABLW, at 1.9 million and 2.4 million years old, respectively. The items within these two layers are now the oldest known artifacts in North Africa. The previous oldest being 1.8 million year old stone tools found in the late 1990s at a nearby site called Ain Hanik. The tools found within the ABLW layer, at 2.4 million years old, are 600,000 years older than the ones found at Ain Hanik and 200,000 years younger than the oldest tools found in East Africa and the world, for that matter, the old Awa tools of Gona, Ethiopia, dated to 2.6 million years ago. Scientists used to believe that early hominins evolved in this area of Africa, spreading to the north around a million years later. But this finding now suggests a much earlier dispersal date into the continent. To put these dates into perspective, our species, Homo sapiens, emerged 300,000 years ago. So the unknown hominins who built these tools were romping around eastern and northern Africa some 2.3 million years before modern humans hit the scene. The new discoveries at Ain Boucherin, the details of which were published today in Science, suggest North Africa wasn't just a place where human ancestors lived and developed tools, it was a place where they evolved. Indeed, this new research is feeding into an emerging narrative whereby humans evolved across the African continent as a whole, and not merely in East Africa as per conventional thinking. What's more, it should spur increased archaeological interest in Northern Africa. Today the layers, Sononi used three different techniques, magnetostratigraphy, electron spin resonance, ESR, dating, and a biochronological analysis of the animal bones found intermixed with the tools. Eleanor Sherry, an archaeologist from the University of Oxford who was not affiliated with the new study, said the researchers did a great job with the dating, saying it's incredibly difficult to accurately date ancient hominin sites. The authors have combined multiple dating methods to produce an age estimate for the early occupation of the ABLW layer to around 2.4 million years ago, Sherry told Gizmodo. They did this by first reconstructing the sequence of geomagnetic reversals preserved at the locality, which are globally well dated. The researchers then found the chronological place of the occupation layers within this sequence through a combination of the electrospin resonance ESR dating of minerals in the sediments and the identification of fossil. Sherry said these methods nicely constrain the dates but involve some uncertainties and assumptions. Jean-Jacques Hublin, a researcher from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, also not involved with the new study, wasn't thrilled with the dating techniques employed by Sanoni and his colleagues 
Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence and one can have some reservations regarding the proposed stages for the Ain Bushurid and Ain Hanuk sites, Publin told Gizmodo. Paleomagnetism is not a dating method. It helps to constrain dates obtained by other methods and is subject to various interpretations. These are indeed extraordinary claims, so an independent effort to date these layers and the artifacts would support the study's conclusion. It confirmed. The findings suggest that hominins were occupying North Africa almost a million years earlier than previously thought, said Sherry. These dates would also make the older one in North Africa only slightly younger than it is in East Africa. Sherry is referring to the world's oldest known stone tool industry. This tech irrevocably altered hominin evolutionary history, setting the stage for even more sophisticated stone tools, such as the ensuing Acheulean culture. Remarkably, the stone tools found at Ain Bushurit were strikingly similar to the old Awan tools of East Africa. Old Awan lithics feature stone cores with flakes removed from the surface, resulting in sharp edges. In addition to these tools, the researchers uncovered heavily flaked ball-shaped rocks, the purpose of which isn't entirely clear. The Ain Bushurit archaeology, which is technologically similar to the Gona Old Awan, shows that our ancestors ventured into all corners of Africa. Not just East Africa, said Sanoni in a statement. The evidence from Algeria has changed our earlier view regarding East Africa as being the cradle of humankind. Actually, the entire Africa was the cradle of humankind. To explain the presence of old Awan technology in North Africa, the researchers posit two scenarios. Either the technology was developed by hominins in East Africa around 2.6 million years ago, who quickly spread themselves in their newfangled tech to the north, or hominins living in North Africa invented old Awan tech independently of other groups. of the animal bones discovered, the archaeologists found traces of mastodons, elephants, horses, rhinos, hippos, wild antelopes, pigs, hyenas, and crocodiles. Oh my! Clearly, these ancient hominins weren't picky eaters. Importantly, many of these animals are associated with open savanna environments and easily accessible bodies of permanent fresh water. This likely describes the landscape inhabited by these old Awan hominins at the time. Analysis of the fossilized bones revealed characteristic signs of butchery, such as V-shaped gouges involved in evisceration and defleshing, and impact notches suggestive of marrow extraction. Ain Bushurid is now the oldest site in North Africa with tangible archaeological evidence of meat use in conjunction with the use of stone tools. The effective use of sharp-edged knife-like cutting stone tools at Ain Boucheret suggests that our ancestors were not mere scavengers, Isabel Caceres. An archaeologist at Rovira i Virgili University in Spain and a co-author of the study, said in a statement, Not clear at this time is whether or not they hunted, but the evidence clearly showed that they were successfully competing with carnivores for meat and enjoyed first access to animal carcasses. Unfortunately, no hominid bones were found at the site, so the researchers can only make educated guesses as to the exact species responsible for the tools. It could have been Homo habilis and early human species around at the time or even late Australopithecines, the hominin genus associated with the famous Lucy fossil. Sherry said this paper highlights the importance of North Africa and also the Sahara for archaeologists seeking to learn more about human origins. The paper, she said, also raises new questions about earlier hominin evolution 
such as the origin and spread of all the one technology. The paper cannot answer these questions, but it changes the narrative by raising them. In effect pointing out that there could be alternatives to the dominant model of an East African origin, she told Gizmodo. As the authors point out, the fossils of the 3.3 million year old Australopithecus Barel Ghazali have already been found in the Saharan region of Chad. The findings reported by Sanoni and colleagues therefore add to a growing body of evidence that North Africa and the Sahara could well yield game-changing discoveries. These findings are strikingly consistent with Sherry's own research. In a Trends in Ecology and Evolution paper published this past July, Sherry and her colleagues claimed that Homo sapiens had a pan-African origin, and that our species didn't evolve from a single ancestral population. In our model, human ancestors were already scattered across Africa, she explained. Different populations came in contact with one another at different times and in different places. With these dynamic patterns of mixing and separation eventually leading to the emergence of the behavioral and biological characteristics of contemporary human populations. The findings from Sanoni and colleagues fit with this view, albeit fairly loosely as they predate the earliest glimmerings of our species divergence by about 1.8 million years. Moving forward, Sherry hopes that scientists will make a more concerted effort to explore the allegedly less important regions of Africa to obtain a more accurate and real picture of hominin evolution over time. Exploring the Sahara and other areas that are in the less glitzier corners of the human origins map will likely yield important returns which in no way diminishes the incredibly important and valuable finds from Eastern and Southern Africa. Resources www.gizmodo.com Science Magazine The human origin story has changed again, thanks to new discovery in Algeria.